opinion, red states are being told by the Supreme Court not to suit simply because they disagree with federal law. Just because a state government disagrees with a federal policy, it shouldn't be allowed to sue the federal government. This idea ought to be obvious, as the Supreme Court confirmed in an 8-to-1 decision on Friday. But as the nation's political divide has widened recently, a plethora of lawsuits brought by states to overturn White House decisions have been filed. During the Trump administration, blue states, including California, did this, and the pattern has gotten worse as a result of red states suing the Biden administration. Friday's ruling in United States v. Texas is a perfect illustration. In 2021, the Biden administration's Department of Homeland Security announced its priorities in arresting and deporting those who are illegally in the United States. There are more than 11 million undocumented individuals in the country, but only several hundred thousand can practically be deported each year. The Biden administration said that it would focus its arrest and deportation efforts on suspected terrorists or dangerous criminals, or people who unlawfully entered the country recently. Texas and Louisiana sued the administration in federal court claiming that federal laws require it to arrest more people pending their deportation. But Justice Brett M. Kavanaugh, writing for the majority, only Justice Samuel Alito dissented, ruled that the states lacked standing to sue. The decision was also a rebuke to the federal district court in Texas and the Court of Appeals for the Fifth Circuit, both of which ruled that the states could sue the federal government over a policy disagreement. It is a long-standing principle that for a federal court to hear a case, the plaintiff must show that it was directly harmed, that the defendant caused the harm and that the harm could be remedied by a court decision. The court said that neither Texas nor Louisiana met the test. In the past, the standing issue was often used by the Supreme Court to dismiss suits seeking to change the law in a progressive direction. For example, 40 years ago, the court dismissed a case involving use of chokeholds by Los Angeles police officers for a lack of standing to sue, concluding that the plaintiff could not show that he was likely to be injured in the future. And suits seeking to protect the environment have been dismissed for a lack of standing. Although I think the court is often too restrictive in its standing rulings, Friday's decision closely follows from earlier precedents and rightly limits the ability of states to sue in federal court because they disagree with a presidential policy. The practical effect of the court's analysis is its recognition that the government must make choices in enforcing the law. Thus, the Department of Homeland Security must set priorities in arresting and deporting non-citizens and it is not for the federal courts to second-guess those choices. As Kavanaugh wrote, if the court greenlighted this suit, we could anticipate complaints in future years about alleged executive branch under enforcement of any similarly worded laws, whether they be drug laws, gun laws, obstruction of justice laws, or the like. We decline to start the federal judiciary down that uncharted path. Read more, Opinion, How the End of Roe Turned into a Threat to American Democracy This is actually the second time this month that the court restricted the ability of states to sue when they dislike federal policy. Last week, in upholding the Federal Indian Child Welfare Act, a law that says priority should be given to Native American families when Native American children are placed for adoption in foster care. The court again dismissed a claim by Texas that the law was an unconstitutional racial preference. In a 7-2 opinion by Justice Amy Coney Barrett, the court concluded that the state of Texas could not show that it was injured by the federal law. Friday's decision is a double-edged sword. It will mean that when there is a conservative Republican president, states like California will be limited in their ability to sue. But the court did not close the door to all suits by states only that they must meet the standing test. While the law in this area certainly is not new, the court did the right thing by applying it in this case.